Hello and welcome back to 16 Years and Now Kim Free. Uh, what a few days, what a weekend it's been, I must admit. Um, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, here I am, I'm back in Cumbria. Uh, I must admit, uh, the Lake Districts are over in that direction. And then you've got the North Pennines, that if you start seeing the hills sort of in there. Um, yeah, that's where I came from from day, I was on the opposite side. And there, well, that way, not there, but up that way, is Scotland, which is eventually well now rather than flirting with the border with it i've done everything that i'm meant to well not meant to be doing that i wanted to do and met up with the people that i was uh, meeting up with it's time to go into scotland for real um i was planning it for the start of october to go into um uh, into scotland um but you know i really wanted to meet up with mark and everybody um, you know, I, over at Woodbridge, and uh, what a Halloween party it was! Um, it was, <laughs> and the Friday night was amazing. Meeting up with them, it was absolutely brilliant. And then seeing all the costumes, you might have seen some of them that I posted uh, online. Um, their costumes, they just went over the top. They did, they did try and get me to get um, dressed up, um, but I just weren't feeling it this year. I, I, I wanted to be in person, looking in, like I have been this entire trip. Um, to see into what they do and what they're up to and they really went out for it you had some amazing outfits there and some amazing conversations you know uh, because uh, you got one of the marks who was in uh, the RAF as an engineer and then you had two uh, army soldiers from different gen uh, generations I must admit and uh, the way that they take uh, the mick out of each other is absolutely brilliant with the RAF. And, like, they get to stay in their hotel rooms, whereas the army officers, they're in bimmy tents and stuff like that. And it was a real... Even though it's uh, a mickey taking of uh, of them, well, you can see William you know, over in the corner, um, you can see and feel the camaraderie of it. And that's a lot about what my journey's been about. Do you know what? It's actually getting quite chilly. But look at the stunning skyscape just uh, just yeah you can't see as much as me i will take some pictures i must admit um but yeah so it's, it's starting to get chilly and even in the mornings it's starting to get chilly i must admit you know and william's engine goes on more and more these days <laughs> to be truthfully honest i'm just glad that the uh, petrol's come down uh, i remember when i was first up in the northeast way oh let's put you in there yeah, uh, up in the north, northeast when I first met Mark and everybody, um, the petrol was around the 192 marker, not the 160 marker. Oh, sorry, I'll put my hat back on. Um, uh, marker. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, quite a relief um, because I do realise it does use a lot of petrol, old William, during like you know when I'm parked up. Um, but yeah, today, wow. I was aiming in a place called uh, Stanhope, and I know uh, down where I come from, there's a place called Stanhope down there. Um, but, well, there is a, a similarity to it, and there's also a complete difference to it. The complete difference to it is the river that runs through it, and the area around it is absolutely spectacular. You might have been seeing me uh, doing my tribute to Alex Goodwin earlier, standing in the middle of the river, and it is a really, really pretty place. But it does have a lot of people... Um, coming past me and you know looking at me like they've chewed the uh, chewed the wasp. Hmm, 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 hmm. You know, what's he doing here? Hmm. Which is a lot of like the southeast anyway. But wow, yeah, I'm heading into Scotland now. I cannot wait. I've got all my clothes in the uh, laundrette, so they're all going to be cleaned and everything like that. And then yeah, I'm going to be heading into uh, Dumfries and Galloway uh, to search out the history of uh, the Wicker Man. But if there's one thing I hope everybody has learned from, well, over seven months of me doing this trip, that England, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Wales, even the border of Scotland, I've been doing it for seven months, and it's very rare that I've returned to the same place. So even though a lot of people from outside the country might find it, you know, it's, you know, a small little place, there is so much here to experience just so even coming across the uh, north pennines um some of the towns i was going through some of the paths i was doing and i wanted to stop every so I, you know just take and i thought well i'm not going to get anywhere if i do and if i'm not going to take uh, a video of every town 
I'm not going to do any of the towns. Plus, I might think it's going to be a lot nicer when I go back there and it might be in the snow. And I know it has snow because it has the snow markings uh, up either side of the road. Um, but yeah, it goes to show you how beautiful, how brilliant the UK and Ireland is and how much there is to see. Even going seven weeks around Ireland, I'm still yet to even scratch the surface of it even going around england i'm still yet to scratch the surface of it i'm trying to go from place to place and see as much as i can and bring it into everything that i can to into you guys along with my adventure and my experiences as well and i was still yet to scratch the surface in, in the surface in over seven months that is how great you know the uk is and how brilliant the people and how beautiful the people are of this you know of the uk and ireland it is just absolutely fabulous and yeah after the events of to you know the weekend and the last uh, couple of months um with people uh, there's even another lady that i used to know called angela that's passed away bless her my nan that's passed away and then you've got alex that's passed away it proves a lot of things a lot of things you know we live in a beautiful part of the world and I want everybody across the globe to come here and enjoy it. Live life. Really, really please live life. If you think you're sitting in there and you're moping, just walk out the door. Yeah, walk out that door, go and see one, here's someone. You know, even if you go and see a stranger, you might bump into someone that will make your entire world a completely different place from what you were feeling before. So... Yeah, as I always say, take it easy. Please get out there. Keep adventuring. Love you, bye.